Hey guys! Hello, hello! My name's Josh. And I'm Toyin. And today we're reviewing Be Careful, God Has a Substitute for You by Patrick Adewale Mold. Oh, 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 oh. So, I'm gonna start on this one. I loved this book because one, it is packed full of scripture. There's so many verses that he uses to support everything that he's saying and the scriptures are like written out in the book so you know how sometimes you read a book and it will say you know reference matthew 5 37 or this or that like it will always give you those references in this book he like actually you see the bold here that's him actually writing out what happened in that story because it's so much the backbone of what he's teaching is like most of this book is just him quoting the Bible and then explaining and bringing it back into the point that he's trying to make. So I love that about it. A2. For me, one thing that I really like about this book is that it's challenging in a positive way. It challenges you to actually take seriously what God wants to do in your life. Yeah. Um, because he will get done what he wants to get done. Yep. And he doesn't care if you do it or if someone else does it. What really matters to God is that his purpose is happening in the earth. And the mm. things that he cares about to happen in the earth actually happen. It's very challenging to me that way to actually take seriously what God wants to happen. And to make sure that I'm doing the best I can to follow what God has for my life. Mm -hmm. um, because God does have a substitute for you. And if you don't believe that, read the book. Read the book, because I think we live in a generation where it's like God is, we're getting to know God as a father, which is amazing. Um, and the fact that he's a good God, which is also correct and amazing. And But sometimes our impression of what a father is or what good looks like or what love looks like is our impression, but not the way he actually is. And it denies his character. And so he just highlights places where God being himself says, this is what I want to get done. And I want to partner with you. And you say, no. And at first, you know, especially like with Moses, he gives Moses as an example. He talks to him and he encourages him to do it. Um, but then when Moses was actually um, allowed anger to show up a bunch of times in his life, he didn't actually enter the promised land. And it's not because Moses was like, oh, no, it's OK, God, I'm cool with, you know, taking them through the wilderness. You can leave me out here. Moses, as a friend of God, as a man who saw God face to face, asked God, God, please take me into the promised land. And the Lord said, no, nope, because of that moment of anger. And it, it's not just like the one example that he gave, but so many examples he gave um, of people who followed God for a season and then at some point said no or allowed sin issues or character issues that God had been highlighting consistently to them um, to take over again and again and led to them not actually doing the things that God called them to do like it's so powerful and the thing that I liked about it in the context of this book is he points out stories and scriptures that you've read before but you never really think about it in light of be careful God has a substitute for you and so when you read it and there's so many of them you're like what God don't play so don't play with him but follow him and as you follow him you'll walk in joy and peace and know him and the thing that he says is like it's not like you're gonna lose your salvation it's a matter of actually getting the privilege to partner with god and do the things that he's telling us to do so for critiquing this book um there's not a lot that we can talk about because yeah. we really love what he teaches in the book we think it's spot on awesome teaching and everybody should read it. And the only thing that we can say is that the formatting on the inside of the book is a little bit challenging to read. There's not a whole lot of paragraph breaks and that kind of thing. Sometimes there's a whole page that's just one paragraph because he types out the whole scripture around what he's saying. So he leaves that within the paragraph. So sometimes that can be a little, little bit of a critique, but for me, it wasn't really an issue. It's like, not, yeah, it's it not like, enough of a thing for you not to read the book. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, get over it. There ain't no paragraph breaks. Suck it up and read the book. There are paragraph breaks. Yeah, there are, but not as many as you're used to. Yeah. It doesn't have your one inch margin around the book pages. 
you know it's not like normal in that sense but the content is great it's amazing so for me i would highly recommend this book be careful god has a substitute for you and my readability score for this would be a five what about you? I'm also going to give this a five. I think it was top notch. By the way, guys, just so you know, this book is not available on Amazon. And so what we're going to do in the book, he puts his email address and his Facebook page. So we'll put his email address and his Facebook page in the description of the video so that you're able to actually contact him directly to get a copy of the book. Because I happened to pick it up at like a service that he preached at. Um, once and that's where I bought it, but it was really, really good. It's worth the buy. It's worth the buy. Are there any other books that talk about this topic or any other topic that you would like us to review? Let, Let us know. know. In the comments. Right down there in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe to our channel, and share the love.